Hi, my name is Bob Silvestri, and I'm president of Community Venture Partners. Um, I hope you'll give me a few extra seconds tonight because I'm speaking on behalf of a number of residents of Corte Madera. They call themselves friends of Corte Madera. Um, I am not opposed to a hotel here by any means, but I'm here to ask you to please reconsider the staff's urging to recommend this particular project. In my opinion, the staff is taking the position that if they can find a loophole or weakness in CEQA, or an expert that will say what they want them to say, they will exploit that to the fullest extent possible. But there is nothing in the staff report that gives thought to what good long-term public policy would be, to what consistent zoning for all hotel owners in Corte Madera would be, or would be best, what would be best for your residents and your precious wildlife. I also want to say that we continue to completely disagree with the staff's conclusions about significant impacts. The town's experts did not, in fact, address any of the actual CEQA issues in their letters. And keep in mind that financial gain is not allowed as a condition of approval under CEQA. The report remains singularly focused on justifying as large a project as possible. In observing this review process over the last year and a half, it seems to me that this project was going to be approved from day one. And no amount of appeals to reason or legal comments or pleading for what is good for the environment or wildlife was going to change that. Yes, you as a commission can tweak it here and there and make some changes, but it seems like the deal to fill in the wetlands pond and build this project was made long before any of you saw it. The public process is broken. Organizations like mine have to spend significant time and money to argue what amounts to be common sense. In the end, this proposal, as it sits, is about one thing, profits. Guaranteeing the ability to extract as much money as possible. This is about what Marriott needs. This is about what the developer demands. But the tragedies of the commons, as they're called, the cumulative impacts of projects like this are never considered. So I'm here to appeal to you, not as commissioners, but as neighbors and fellow residents of Marin, to ask you to please take one more look at the bigger picture, and not just go along with what you might be expected to do here. Please retain the pond and recommend the smaller alternative, alternative two. With the loss of each incremental piece of wetlands, each acre that's paved over and wildlife gone, with each decision setting a precedent for the next decision, we all lose a piece of what makes this a special place. And one day, you'll all wonder what happened to Marin. Thank you very much. Thank you.